Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about new export updates in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so some people have reported having issues with exporting from Premiere Pro, from the actual exporting engine in Premiere Pro, and they'd like to be able to just send right to Media Encoder. Of course, you can open any Premiere Pro project in Media Encoder, but there's now a keyboard shortcut to send uh, any media from Premiere Pro to Media Encoder. Shift option, um, Shift Option M on Mac OS and Alt Shift M on Windows. And it does depend on what you have selected because you can have multiple um, sequences and you can have media clips that you can send. So let's look at that first. So I've got a timeline here and when I select it, it gets a blue line around it. That means if I export and send this out, that's what I'm sending out. If I click over here to a different uh, sequence, then that will be sent out. But I'm gonna click on here, go to the file menu, go to export, and there it is. Send to Adobe Media Encoder, there's my keyboard shortcut. Selecting that will launch Media Encoder and bring it to the front. If I had selected multiple sequences or multiple clips, then you'd have multiple things showing up in the queue. All right, there it is loaded. Of course, I can choose uh, any format I want here, any location, click on um, the actual format, either here or there, and it does open up the, the same export as normal where you can pick an export format and you're ready to go. If I come up here and hit start, then it will start. So that's the first thing. I also want to show you in the edit menu on Media Encoder and the uh, Media Encoder menu on the Mac in preferences, start queue automatically when idle for two minutes. Uh, and you can see the little pop-up shows up. It says, Q starts automatically after specified duration. Countdown appears in the encoding panel. This is turned off by default, but if you wanted to send to Media Encoder and just have it start on its own, uh, instead of pushing that, that uh, little green start button, um, you can have that happen. What's important to understand is your computer is only so fast. So exporting out of Media Encoder takes up a lot of CPU and maybe GPU and resources. So what Premiere Pro does is it stops play, it stops media encoder if you're playing back the timeline. You can turn that off, but it doesn't mean your computer is twice as fast. Let me show you in Premiere Pro where that is. So in the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on Mac, preferences, playback, Pause Media Encoder Q during playback. That's on by default. So if I'm not playing anything, if I'm not playing anything, Media Encoder will be uh, queuing. But if I come back over here and hit play, as soon as I start to play, Media Encoder will be paused. When I stop playing, it'll be unpaused. This is a really good way to use the re your resources uh, smartly because you're not going to slow your computer down, but Media Encoder is just going to go to work while you figure something out here. Maybe you're, uh, uh, you're, you're naming files or you're about to find something in import and you're doing uh, media uh, management, then it's just going to work. Okay, so that's a new one. That's great. Now, I do want to show you if we go to my media and I select a bunch of media now, notice the blue line isn't around the sequence. If I now go to export, send to media encoder, it's sending all of those clips to media encoder. So there they are. If I come up here and hit start, then it will start. So. 
This could have been sequences too, or a mix of sequences and clips. Whatever you have selected in the project panel when you choose that menu command or the keyboard shortcut. All right, there's one more update that I think is really useful. And let's go back to my timeline here. Go to the export mode in the top left. And what you'll find is in the presets now, your last three presets will show up right here. Of course, you can still go to your other favorites down here and you can go to more presets. And if you ever wanted a preset to show up there, um, you can click on the little star. So if I wanted this 2K DCP, click OK, go to format and you'll see, sorry, go to presets and you'll see that preset is now in the favorites. But up here in the recent, whatever last three exports you uh, exported out at will be sitting right in there. You can find those same three recent exports in the quick export menu too in the top right. So you can see there's the three sitting there, the same ones, they will always be updated. Okay, little updates, but could mean big things for your workflow, especially if the export mode is causing you problems. It hasn't for me. I export out directly, no issues. But I have read on forums, some people having uh, a freeze at this, that point, and maybe media encoders just going to be better. I mean, the, the engine that does the rendering is identical inside Premiere Pro and media encoder. They're completely the same, but they are separate. So maybe sending it out to Media Encoder will save you issues from uh, not being able to export out of Premiere Pro. But that's a bigger issue that you should probably look at getting fixed. Um, and because if you are having issues, there's something wrong. Maybe it's, it's the location, the media in, media out. I don't know. Maybe it's just an update we need from Adobe. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You can support us on videoreveal.com. Donate once, monthly, any amount. You can contact me there because I ain't reading comments anymore. It takes up way too much time and I just like having fun in my uh, Adobe applications. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to keep my eyes open and listen to the problems that, that people are having and then turn them into a useful tutorial for you.